Hey guys, welcome to the gaming PC builds of the month for April 2016. Welcome to these three builds that are done every single month here at Noob Computer Build. If you're new here, uh, there's three builds for three different budgets and three different purposes. And I'll get into those purposes with each and every build. So here I'm on the site at noobcomputerbuild.com so you can come here and learn a little bit, little bit more. In the description, I always link all the hardware, so check that out. And without further ado, let's get started with the first of the three builds, which is the $1,500 build followed by the $1,000 build and then the $600 build. All right, so for the $1,500 build, this build is for uh, kind of the higher end gamers that kind of want to future proof a little bit future proof if you can future proof I suppose but this is for those that want to max out any game at 1080p no problem uh, <clears throat> and play all games at 2k or 2k or 2560 by 1440 for example resolutions um, that you, uh, like this and max that out with high FPS and I'm talking 60 plus FPS and even those that want to dabble into 4k uh, with a little bit of scale back settings because if you really want to game at 4k at 60 frames per second and higher you probably want to go with SLI or crossfire graphics cards so two two of AMD or uh, uh, sorry two of Nvidia or AMD graphics cards in order to get those high settings but let's get started with the $1,500 gaming PC build of the month for April 2016 uh, starting with the processor we have the Intel Core i5 6600k this is a, an unlock, unlocked processor easily overclockable uh, especially when you match it with this CPU cooler here uh, so the cooler that we have is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. And so the processor, $249.99. The cooler, $34.54. You need to purchase a cooler because the Skylake processors do not come with one. So you need to purchase it regardless. And this is uh, one of the best air coolers at a great cost too. If you want to get a liquid cooler, I do have those in the alternative section below. But uh, so, you know, keep, keep on watching <laughs> to see what that is. So for the motherboard, we have the Gigabyte. Uh, GA uh, Z170X Gaming 5 motherboard. And so this comes in at 166.99 currently. And then the graphics card, uh, we have the GeForce GTX 980 Ti overclock card, 629.99, which is the real driving force behind this build. And uh, this is what will allow you to max out 2K resolutions, absolutely no problem. For RAM, we have a Crucial Ballistic Sport 16 gigabyte kit, uh, DDR4, 69.99. Uh, so that's two sticks of 8GB DDR4 sticks. We have no HDD in this build because it's, they're, you know, uh, more and more becoming not as uh, preferred <laughs> as uh, SSDs come down in price. An SSD will increase your boot and uh, boot times and the load times, uh, such as a Samsung 850 EVO 250GB card, 86.99. Uh, should that not be enough space, you can either up the SSD to a 500GB version or you can add a one terabyte HDD for uh, relatively cheap. I'm talking $40 or so. Uh, power supply, EVGA Supernova 750 watt G2 uh, gold power supply, $109.99. Fully modular, uh, it's a great power supply and uh, uh, enough juice to get the, the build going. And for the PC case this month for the $1,500 build, we have this Corsair Carbide Series Spec Alpha Mid Tower. This comes in three different uh, colors. The one you see here is the black and silver. Comes in black and red and white and red. This is a brand new case released um, within within the month, the, within a month ago. Uh, and this comes in at $79.99. It's kind of a cool slick looking case too. Uh, and so this build right now at the beginning of April comes in at about $1,418, way under the $1,500 mark. So I did call it the $1,500 build uh, following suit with what we usually do here every single month on the on the site, but uh, it does. you do have a lot of room for growth. So for those that do have a little more to spend, uh, there are some alternatives suggested here, such as you can uh, stick in an i7 if you do more than gaming, such as this i7-6700K, also unlocked, easy, easily overclockable, 358.88. Um, that would be if you do more than gaming, such as video work uh, or graphics work, etc. Uh, you can really pump up those graphics, such as uh, with SLI, so adding another gigabyte GeForce GTX 980 Ti card that will set you back another $629.99. And I would recommend that if you are really serious about 4K gaming or want to get into that, or later on if you want an upgrade in graphics. But if you do go SLI or you're considering it in the future, I do suggest a minimum 850 watt power supply, uh, which such as the, this is the, the one up one from the 750 watt one included above and that's $123.71 currently. Like I said, you can include a liquid CPU cooler, uh, such as this Corsair Hydro Series H100i, uh, one of the best ones out there right now, $102.99. Uh, 
Um, and then also uh, you can add a one terabyte SSD. Um, this one's quite pricey because it's one of the higher end ones. It's a little faster than the Samsung Evo, uh, the other one that uh, the Samsung Evo one included in the build. Um, but this will set you back three hundred fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Now moving on to the April twenty sixteen one thousand dollar gaming PC build. So like I said, each build has a purpose, and uh, uh, that's why I choose these three budgets generally every single month because uh, the one thousand dollar build will max out any game no problem at 1080p. And that's also for people that kind of want to dabble into um, 2K resolutions as well, but you might not be able to max out every single game at 2K. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, so for the processor, same as the $59 build, we have the Intel Core i5-6600K at $239.99, uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU Cooler at $34.54, and um, for the motherboard, this is kind of the um, two below boards of the one included in the $1,500 build is the Gigabyte uh, GA-Z170X Gaming 3, and that's $133.99. And the graphics card, um, we have this, this Zotac GeForce GTX 970, same as included last month, um, and that's $304.99, uh, which is a little cheaper than last month, I think, as well. Um, RAM, we have 8 gigabytes uh, of DDR4 Crucial Ballistic Sport, two 4 gigabyte sticks, $40.45. Uh, no HDD included in this one uh, because, like I said, they're becoming more and more irrelevant, but they are could, can be used to easily increase your storage by adding uh, another drive. And so the SSD included is Samsung 850 Evo 250GB uh, SSD, $86.99. The power supply here, we have the EVGA Supernova 650W uh, power supply, $78.10, which is relatively affordable for this one right now. And then for a computer case, this is yet another new PC case just released, just recently released, um, which is the Fantax Eclipse Series P400, $74.99. So it also comes in, top of my head, I don't really remember, but it's a few colors as well. So there's this one and a few other colors. Uh, and uh, also this is the P400 version, which is uh, kind of the standard version of this case. Also, if you spend a little more, you can get the P400S, which uh, Fantex has coined as their silent case. So if you're really concerned about the noise and keeping your PC quiet, you might consider that one uh, for a little bit more. And this build comes out to $989 at the beginning of April 2016 here. Should you have a little more to spend or want to upgrade for the future, etc, 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 here are a few suggestions. You can get a, you know, a larger storage S or more storage on your SSD, bump it up to a 500 gig version, the Samsung 850 500 gig version, for example, for $149.99. This could be a upgrade potential for the future if you want to bump up those graphics. SLI that graphics card and add in two GTX 970s uh, and you should be swinging through <laughs> anything pretty much if you do that. Uh, also, um, if you are want to be serious about 2K gaming, this will be the, the card that you want to get because it's the most affordable uh, card that'll get you there. Uh, and the Gigabyte AMD R9-390X, and that's $499.99. So you purchase that instead of the GTX 970. Uh, and if you want to do liquid CPU cooling instead of the air cooler, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo included in the build, uh, go with this uh, Corsair Hydro Series H80i. It's uh, 96.53. It's a little more than what it usually is. I think it comes in around $85 usually, but um, that's a suggestion in case you're interested in that. And now, finally, for the uh, final $600, fi sorry, fi the final build is a $600 build. Uh, this one has switched significantly this month. Uh, we're coming in with the Intel Core i3-6100 processor instead of the the AMD one included last month not to say that the AMD is irrelevant but I thought I'd switch things up this month and kind of uh, bring in a more modern uh, uh, build in, into the mix since the Skylake processor is a little more newer than the the AMD ones used previously so here we have the like I said the i3-6100 coming in at 121.58 and to pair with that is a compatible motherboard such as this Gigabyte GA H170 Gaming 3 94.99 um, the graphics card we have is this XFX R9 380, $179.99. RAM, uh, since we are using a Skylake processor, we were able to push in a DDR4 kit of RAM. So this Crucial Ballistic Sport 8GB kit, 4054. Um, here is an affordable SSD, which is also a new addition to the $600 build. 
uh, by that I mean a, an SSD alt at all. Uh, we have the 256 gigabyte my di digital uh, SSD that you see here for $59.99. Power supply, 600 watts of uh, EVGA uh, V1, 600 watt power supply, $49.99. And the computer case, which is, uh, I, I quite like this one, especially for a budget case, uh, the Zellman uh, Z3 Plus uh, white version, because it also comes in black, $49.99. Uh, so this build comes right up to our budget at $596.98 here at the beginning of April. Keep in mind, prices do change. Um, but also, let's move on to the very end here with the upgrade suggestions for the $600 build. Upgrade suggestions in case you want to upgrade for the future or, uh, or now if you have more to spend. So you can add a better cooler. A cooler does come with uh, the CPU, so... Right now we're using the stock cooler. If you want to add it in another cooler, should uh, it get too hot or you want to uh, in the later on, this is an option. You can just add this in. Corsair Hydro Series H55, uh, 2949, oh, sorry, 5986. Alternatively, you can add also a Cooler Master Hyper 212 for 2949. Um, you can get a better graphics card right, right off the bat. Uh, Radeon R9 380X, 229.99. That's another option. Uh, you can bump up that SSD to another uh, budget SSD, such as this 480 gigabyte SSD for $112.99, the ADATA, ADATA SP550. Um, or you can bump it up to a better processor right off the bat, such as a uh, Intel Core i5-6500, which is only $204.99, uh, which is fully compatible with the motherboard and the whole build. So uh, no worries there. All right, that, that wraps up this month uh, for the gaming PC builds. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you want to purchase the hardware, uh, links in the description. Also, you can visit the site to learn more about the builds or to scroll down below and leave a comment. Um, also here below are some uh, operating system options for those that don't have one uh, and also some free options. But anyways, visit the site, check those out. And then there's also a Mice Keyboards Monitors suggestion article, so just check that out. Uh, but if you wanna learn more, if you wanna build a PC, I have no problem ask, uh, ask, <laughs> answering any questions. But anyways, I'll wrap this up. Uh, visit noobcomputerbuild.com. And until next month, good luck.